Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the prime factorization of 12. So we are breaking 12 down into its prime factors, the prime numbers that multiply to equal 12. So looking at 12, we need to start breaking this down by thinking of two factors, two numbers that multiply to give us 12. Well, two and six are factors of 12. Two times six equals 12. So let's break 12 down into two and six. Now keep in mind, we could have also started with the factors of three and four, and those factors would work as well. Depending on the number, there can be multiple different factors that we can use. So there can be multiple different ways we can do these. But in the end, we will get to the same prime numbers, and that's what's important. Now let's continue to break this down. So we have two and six. Now two is a prime number, so we are done here. We can't break that down any further. So let's circle two to show that we have a prime number. Six on the other hand is a composite number, so we can break six down. So we need to think of factors here. Well, two and three are factors of six. Two times three equals six. So let's break six down into two and three. Now both two and three are prime numbers, so we are done here and here. And that's the prime factorization of 12. We can't break anything else down any further. We have all prime numbers. So we can write this out as 12 equals, and then we can put our prime factors in order from least to greatest here, and we are multiplying them. So we have two times two times three. And if we have the correct prime numbers, they will multiply to equal our original number. So let's check here. Two times two is four, times three is 12. So we are correct here. So there you have it. There's the prime factorization of 12. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.